Hello guys, Rob here. In this one, we are going to walk through how to Rex your EOS using Scatter and the EOS Authority Rex portal. Now before we get into it, make sure that you are logged into your Scatter so it can pop up when that step is required. Now in order to get to the EOS Authority Rex portal, you are going to have to go to eosauthority.com slash rex. I will leave the link to this in the description. Once on that page, this is what you will see. So in order to start rexing your tokens, you're going to come down here and enter your EOS account name, the EOS account that you want to rex the tokens on. So go ahead and type in your account name. And this account does have to be attached to the scatter you are using. So once you have your account name typed in, click analyze. And this will pop up down here. Now from here, you can do the quick method of either rexing 10%, 50%, 70% or max. You may notice that the max amount of EOS is not the total available amount of EOS in your EOS account. Right now I have 11.5727 EOS available, but, but the max is only allowing me 5.5727. And here is this account. Here's where that 5727 is coming from. And then the 11 is coming from. I have 1 staked to net and 10 staked to CPU. So the reason for this not giving me the entire amount is because it is leaving some EOS staked in CPU and some EOS staked in net because you never want to rex all your tokens from the net and CPU because then if you do you'll have no resources to be able to use that account. So that's the quick method but what I like to do is come into the custom here and this gives you a breakdown of the EOS you want to stake. So it's showing my full liquid balance 5.5727 yes and then it's giving me only five CPU for uh, five EOS from CPU stake and zero from net stake that is because it's keeping five EOS in my CPU and the entire one EOS in my net so the account doesn't become unusable or run into any resource issues so I can send multiple transactions a day still now you can change this and increase it past the five it's giving you all the way up to the amount of CPU you have staked and the amount of net you have staked. So I could run this up all the way, not to the entire 10 that I have staked in CPU, but maybe up to nine, leaving one EOS in CPU. And since net isn't used as much, maybe 0.5, I could do that there as well. So with just the current settings it's giving me, I am going to be rexing my entire liquid EOS balance and five EOS out of my CPU stake. And down here, it tells you exactly what's going on. Moving a total of 5.5727 EOS into rex from my liquid balance, as well as five EOS from CPU and net. And then it tells you how many you will have remaining for your stake. If I do this, I will still have 5 EOS remaining for CPU stake and 1 EOS for net stake remaining. So I'm just going to go ahead and adjust this down one here and we should see the balance here change down to 4. So there we go, down to 4 here. Now I'm going to be rexing a total of 4.5727 EOS. And to do this, I would simply click Get Rex. Choose your wallet. We're going to be using Scatter for this. And now we're just waiting for Scatter to pop up. It's connecting to Scatter. Select the account. This is for the HEZD SMZ account. HEZD SMZ, that is the account I want. Log in. And here is where we push through the transaction. Unstake to Rex. Yes, 4.5727 EOS. Yes. Owner and receiver is my account. Yes. Allow. And there we go. Now I have 45,700 Rex tokens, which is the value 4.5727, the amount of EOS I just put into it. Once these mature, you can sell these from this page or you can move these over to savings. Uh, all this can also be done from the Rex dashboard. That's where I like to go after this into my Rex dashboard button up here. And it gives you a breakdown of everything, shows you the Rex maturing you have, so these are the Rex I just acquired. These will mature in 4 days, 9 hours, 53 minutes. Here's my total Rex, and here is the history of Rex transactions down here. 
So you can also move these into savings. And I'm going to do a separate video on savings, but what savings is essentially is it stops the maturing process here. So once these mature in four days, nine hours, 53 minutes, they're just like Liquid EOS. They can immediately be moved, immediately be turned back into Liquid EOS. So as an added safety feature, there is the Rex savings here and you can move over as many Rex that you have eligible into savings. And what savings does is stop the maturing. So when you want to get your Rex out of savings, you unstake your Rex from savings and that's when the four day maturing period starts. So it's like staking your EOS now where when your EOS are staked, once you unstake them, it takes three days. That's just like savings. Savings stops the maturing process. You are still earning from the Rex because Rex profits are made from the increase in the price of Rex. So now that you have Rex tokens, as people buy Rex resources, the token price increases. So you are still benefiting from the increase in token price, but all savings is doing is stopping this maturing period. So if you just leave them here in four days, nine hours, 52 minutes, I'll be able to just sit on my Rex and let them sit there or immediately move them back into Liquid EOS. Whereas if I had them in savings, the maturing period doesn't start until I remove them from my savings. So that's it for sending your EOS into Rex using the EOS Authority Rex dashboard here. And when you want to come back to this Rex dashboard uh, later on to either view your Rex stats or unstake them from Rex, let's go back to Rex dashboard without an account in it. So you come back to EOSAuthority.com slash Rex and then up at the top here, you will be able to see your accounts. And if you don't see your account here, all you have to do is click the add account button up here, log in with scatter. Uh, we're adding an EOS account, add account. Your scatter will pop up and then you can log into your account via scatter. We'll log back into this HEZD account. And there we go, it pulls up my HEZD SMZ account. You can get more Rex here, sell your Rex, go back to the Rex dashboard and view everything there. So that's all done up here at the top. If you do have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below and I will get to them. But uh, this is a great way to Rex your tokens using Scatter. One of the easier ways for sure. I will be coming out with the EOS Titan video as well. They have a really easy process as well. And it really comes down to Rexing with Scatter. What interface you like the best. What interface makes the most sense to you. Uh, but this is one of the better ones for sure. So if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, drop a like on it. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell for more EOS content coming your way. That's going to do it for me for this one. I will see you guys in the next one.